All right, this is my variation of uh, Jack Avis's Slippery Aces. This is one of my favorite effects, one of the strongest effects you can do in card magic. And uh, this is a performance video of that. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like, okay? We're gonna give the cards a shuffle here. And uh, you can have them shuffle. There's ways to do that. And what you do is you, uh, you give the cards some cuts like this. And this is how you can tell a good card magician can cut to one of those aces from a shuffle pack, just like so. Okay, we'll give the cards some more cuts here, and we'll see if we can find another one, just like that. All right, we'll do that again. Give the cards a couple of cuts, and we got the ace of spades. And again, give the cards some cuts, and we can find ace number four. Now, there is a faster way to do that, which I can show you. And, uh, <clears throat> The faster way to do that would just be to go like this, bang, bang, okay? And we can cut to something like four kings, right? Now, I'll take the kings, place them back in the pack, just like so. Four kings, all right. Four different spots in the pack, four different places in the pack. Now, we're going to just Shuffle those in like so. Now, <clears throat> what I will do is uh, put the aces inside there. Diamonds, spades, hearts, and clubs in four different places. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to uh, give those a little shuffle. And we'll shuffle the deck like so. And what I will do here is I will see if I can't find those aces somewhere here, okay? Because somewhere in the pack, they're in there, all right? Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is show you that there's none on the uh, bottom. There's none on the top. Okay. No aces of kings there. So if I just give it a snap like that, watch, amazingly, you can get the four aces there. Right in the middle of the pack. Four aces. Now, watch very carefully. We're going to take those guys, set them down, and I'll give it another snap like this and we'll get the four kings reversing in the pack magically. Now, I'm going to give you a choice here. I'm going to take the aces, all right? I'm going to place them uh, in the pack, just like so, okay? Place them in four different places. You can cleanly see that. Four different places, the aces. Now, I want you to choose uh, one of those aces. Okay. Give the cards some cuts here. <clears throat> okay. I want you to uh, see nothing on top or bottom. I want you to choose club, heart, spade, or diamond. So say you said uh, club. You spell A C E O F C L U and B. Ace of club, right? With an S. Ace of clubs. And there we go, right? Pretty amazing. Now, what happens at this point is we're going to have the person stab it in wherever they want, completely randomly. So pretend they stabbed it in. Now, it's in, going in there. Uh, we're going to show that all the cards are facing one direction, except for the ace. We go down to take the next card right where they stabbed it in, correct? That would be amazing if that was uh, an ace. It is. Awesome. Now, we're going to take uh, the next guy, the next ace, cut it in to the pack, okay? We take the ace, we can have the spectator cut it in, okay? Give the cards a little snap, and look what happens. Magically, we get one sandwich card, and it happens to be an ace. 
Now this happens to be one of the best parts. We take the uh, aces, we'll put them in there, okay? Three different places you have the audience member stab those in. Uh, have them select one, either the club, heart, or uh, spade. So let's say they name the heart. Uh, it shows simply. We have the spades here, clubs here, and the hearts here. Uh, right next to the one you named, which was the heart, you magically find the last ace. Thank you very much. That's Jack Avis, Slippery Aces.